everyone. I wanted to do a details video on my new partial silicone. It is the Mix Sculpt by Jennifer McKevitt, Jenny Jill Babies uh, from With All My Heart Nursery. And she is currently still making this little guy. Uh, he can also be a girl too, I guess, since it's um, a partial silicone. She also do them uh, with snuggle babies too, where it's just the head too. So I wanted to um, show you guys how um, he moves and just, you know, what he looks like up close and what his silicone feels like and just talking a little bit about his details too. So you can see it in a video. A lot of people like to look at videos and hear um, from buyers, opinions, and that kind of stuff. I don't usually give my opinion because I love all of her babies, so I guess that's an opinion. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you his details. Um, Peekaboo! <laughs> now this was um, the first baby Mick. Um, but the second pour, and he was a boo boo baby, so his nose got a little squished um, uh, in his molding process there. But I think it's so cute the way his nose is turned up. He looks like this little elf, and it's perfect just for Christmas. Um, so, yeah, uh, I have posted, well, I actually haven't posted it yet, his unboxing video where I talk a little bit more about the details of the sculpt and about um, Jennifer and that kind of stuff too. And this, like I said, I just want to do a close-up video on some of his little details. And this is Ecoflex 10. So he has this little closed fist. And I just love um, the coloring this time on him, um, the way that he has like the light, light parts that um, really let the actual color of the silicone come through and then just have the warm, uh, like little blotchy skin on there. I think that's so realistic. My baby looked like that a little bit. So he has um, a little bit longer than one fourth arms. I guess this would be half. It goes almost up to the elbow, but does not include the elbow. And this open hand is my favorite because of this little skin part between the thumb and forefinger, or thumb and pointer finger. It's so realistic in real life. If you look at how it, like if you feel, there's like this little elevation, just like how you have like that little piece of skin that rises kind of stiff. It feels just like that ridge in real life, which is so cool. He has some of his hair on him. I was just fixing his hair. And I'll do his face last. So here you can see same thing with that goes up, up to the knee, but does not include the knee. And there's like silicone in here too, so it looks like oh it's dangling, but it's not. Like it wouldn't it wouldn't fall out. Um, you still have to be gentle, of course. All of his toes are separated. I love touching uh, the feet and I love um, the way Jennifer sculpts her big toes because they're like so big. <laughs> These little bulbous toes is my favorite part. All of my larger babies I have by her all have like this really big, big toe. It's my favorite. My favorite part. You can see how, you know, it's nice and floppy. Everyone always says that in their videos, floppy, floppy. And 
and you can make like little see how there's no crinkle in the middle but you know whenever you squish certain parts of the silicone um it kind of creates its own little creases i think that's so cool um you don't want to like squish silicone too much even though that's kind of the reason why you want to have that feeling because it like melts in your hand almost but you just have to be careful when you do that because of the layers of paint on top you don't want to separate the paint so the paint itself is actually silicone too because nothing sticks to silicone except for silicone he's like platinum so i already did that hand so here's his face he has this really big mouth opening he has upper gums so cute his tongue is attached to the bottom of his mouth but the tip of it still like wiggles a little bit and he's fairly large there my pinky goes back that's as far as the pinky goes back so about this much so um you take a preemie and a newborn pacifier so here's a newborn advent silicone passy i'll work that in his mouth nice gently you can see it takes a pull up And it's always best to use like a silicone based lubricant in there um, to help, you know, let the pacifiers move in and out just so you don't want to, you know, wear out that paint. And I still have some, it's still a little bit slick on there from before. I'm getting ready to change him into his Christmas outfit. So I'm going to squeeze his cheeks just a little bit so you can see squishing he is and <laughs> makes this little dimple there in his mouth now his eyes are not permanently in there so i can remove them and change the colors if i wanted to he has um 12 millimeter eyes i'm thinking if i want to have them like uh buy like handmade glass eyes and have like that real stormy gray like real newborn that dark blue color instead uh, i might also root eyelashes on him since he did not have any and i'll show you with his eyes out in just a little bit here all right so his head. he does have you know some blemishes as far as how you know smooth the silicone looks like if you consider that a boo-boo um to me it does not it's not bother me at all and his his head um even though it is fixed in here like it's not actually the head that's turning it's just the silicone that stretches um so whenever you're turning his head you just have to be very gentle with him so here's his other ear and it's attached to you know the back so it can't really get in behind it too much so his ears don't stick out you can see all of his pretty modeling there <laughs> oh, i thought i wiped off all of his hair and you can see where he has like you know little runny nose and some shine around his eyes it makes it more realistic and again ecoflex 10 so you can see it takes um a little bit of time for it to bounce back i'm not sure how the video picks up you like look at his cheek you can see like it takes just a little bit for it to 
pop back into shape. So it's not the marshmallow silicone, but it is definitely softer. So I'd compare, I'd compare this to like what squeezing your earlobe would feel like differently. And whenever you pick him up, like his head definitely goes back. So like, I'm not going to pick him up without supporting his neck, but just so his arm down there. So you can see like, I mean, and I'm still resting it on the sink here. You know, so you would have to pick him up like a real baby if you're going to switch him over. In this cloth body, um, it is jointed, which I, I do like um, that I can lift his legs up and he can stay in this cute little curled up ball position or put his legs down. Um, but I don't like, what I don't like though, I don't like the material that this is. It's very thin. Um, I've had to repair a seam on the back of the arm here. I'll turn him over um, really quickly. Turn his head there. I do like that, you know, it tucks up underneath. So I, I love the design of the body and even the joints don't really bother me too much having like the hard plastic joints in there. Um, but just the material that this body is made out of, um, I've had to fix here where it came apart. Um, and I've also had to fix, uh, I forgot to cut that one string, but I had a fix down here too. Like it just started, the material started pulling away from the um, you know, the seams of thread there are starting to pull out. And you can see how the back of the legs look whenever they, they're, they do hang down. So they don't stick right up there. Um, now if I would, and it's not ripped or anything, that's just how that looks and it's attached in here. Silicone goes way up to past the knee area. So that's not, you know, not going to come out, but you definitely don't want to be pulling on the baby. <clears throat> the doll at all um but I, like I said I do like how this body allows the legs um to be you know tucked up underneath you know like a baby I do like how it is able to move there <clears throat> but um I, I just don't like the material of the body and uh I might I might switch out uh, his body, I'll probably end up just making him another one. Sometimes I do that for my cuddle babies. I'll just end up making another body. I've actually switched all of my cuddle baby bodies. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, and then I'll probably just save this for something else. And then I'll probably fill him with, um, wait, the rest of the legs with glass beads. Cause this, um, what he has in here is, um, a plastic poly pellet of some sort and you can see how it like dimples like that so I'll probably just switch that out um, to glass beads in a stocking and of course I'll show you the video of that after I do that um, I might first uh, re put different beads in him in this body just to see if I change how he feels a little bit um and if I don't like that then I'll probably just swap out the body and not have the uh plastic connectors like I said even though on this uh body per se it doesn't really affect like how you hold him it does just feel like a shoulder but some dolls it they it makes them feel more like a old-fashioned teddy bear or something um and then also on, just so you can see the direction of his hands too, um, I think this arm here, whenever I swap out the zip tie and re-switch, I think I'm going to put this arm, I'm going to attach it more like this when I re-put on the silicone. So you can see like right now it's like straight down, like his hand is like in this kind of position. And I think I want it more you know, sideways whenever I reattach them. It's going to be more like that instead of straight up. But I do like how this hand is the 
straight. I'm not going to turn this one in. I think I'm going to leave this one like that because I like um, how it looks like when his hand goes up. Now this one, I just, yeah, I think I want this one turned in. So yeah. So those are his little details. He doesn't have any little bits because he does have this cloth body. But if I make any changes to little baby Mick, um, I'll definitely show you guys so you can uh, see that. I also have another video where I was changing out the body and I did a process, you know, a steps video of how to change out the body of one of my silicone cuddle babies. And I um, bought a Reggie and body and put that on her. You can check out that video too. Okay. Thanks.